Yo, what up, guys? I'm Sammy, and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And this is my performance review of the New Balance Two Way. So this shoe is going for 140 bucks, so mid-tier pricing. And if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started right away with the Tractiones. And they uh, on the New Balance site, they say it's a data-driven traction pattern for ultimate grip on the court and does it have ultimate grip yes it has ultimate grip this traction pattern is really really good and very very consistent like in my first impressions i don't know why but it didn't seem like it was grabbing too well on my wood floors but playing it on the outdoor court it seemed very very nice i had no problems with it ever slipping out or anything it was actually really really good so i'm, I'm very happy about that and uh, as you guys can see, we have a mix of translucent and solid rubbers. So here in the middle of the outsole, we have a translucent rubber with the New Balance logo, I guess being this yellow solid rubber. And around the perimeter of the outsole, we have a blue solid rubber. And uh, yeah, bite was really, really nice. Uh, as far as the durability goes though, in my first impressions, I thought it was gonna be really nice, but it's not looking too nice. It's fraying off a lot, especially in the high wear areas. And um, yeah, I, I guess like around the perimeter of the outsole, if you look, uh, it's a little bit like thinner as far as the grooves go. And then once you go into the middle of the outsole, it becomes a little bit thicker. I don't know why they thinned it out so much uh, around the perimeter of the outsole, but I, I, I guess like uh, just those parts are fraying off a lot. But in the middle of the outsole, it seems pretty damn good. So I guess that's a good thing. Uh, so durability, if you're playing on outdoor court, I feel like it should be okay, probably not the best option. And also another thing that they don't really mention in the tech specs on the website is the outsole curvature, right? So if you look at the bottom of the shoe here, uh, from this angle, in the forefoot, there is a little bit of a curve, right? So right here in the middle, we can see there is a little bit of a pivot point. And then we, we can see that it kind of teeters on this point in the shoe and it feels really really nice and also gives you really good grip if you're doing these types of movements right so for example here in the next level feature naturals as you guys can see it's super flat right and it doesn't it's not very flexible either so when if you're doing a lot of these types of movements i find myself slipping out in this shoe a good amount because like i do these types of movements you know crossovers step backs cuts so if you're going like this you have very little surface area uh, to actually stop you from slipping out right so it's only this part of the shoe that's touching the ground but here in the new balance it's curved more so if you're doing this type of movement you have a little bit more like surface area you have a little bit more of the outsole touching the ground which gives you better grip if you're doing those types of movements so i really like that and also as we can see here on the medial side the rubber does come up a good amount so if you're doing those types of movements as well you have a little bit more grip coming up here into the midsole so the traction was surprisingly very very good you know i was very surprised Moving on to the heel to toe transition, it's very, very smooth. Uh, we have a, it's not super edgy. There is a little bit of a curve, um, but it is pretty caged. So um, it is a little clunky, just a tiny bit clunky here in the heel, nothing terrible or anything. And then here in the forefoot, we have a nice curve shape as well as a lot of forefoot flex. So when you're running down the court, it feels pretty damn fluid and pretty damn smooth. Just a tiny bit clunky here in the heel. All right, moving on to the cushioning setup, right? So the two-way is using a full-length fuel cell. And as you guys know, I really like fuel cell, especially in the Omnis. And fuel cell is pretty damn bouncy, has good impact protection, is pretty soft as well. Uh, but here in the two-way, they cage it up pretty heavily, right? Uh, like if you look around the shoe, here on the medial side, they cage it up pretty much like all the way, I don't know why. And then they leave it exposed here on the lateral side here in the heel, which this is where you want the cushion to be caged. Like if this part of the cushion compresses, you have a little bit of lateral instability, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll, we'll get into that. Like I didn't experience any lateral instability, but I'm just saying like you would want the caging to be on the up opposite side for this shoe. But anyways, so how's the cushioning setup? So it's very low to the ground. So court feel is really good, which is nice. Impact protection is good on just normal impacts, right? So if you're just kind of like playing, uh, you know, kind of shooting around and stuff, you should be fine. If you're playing really hard and you're doing very, very hard impacts, then your foot's gonna hurt, right? So uh, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe they made it a little bit like too thin or maybe it's the cage as well, or maybe both. But when I did a hard impact, especially here in the heel, it would hurt my heel. So uh, just be careful on that. This shoe doesn't have the best impact protection for really hard impacts. Uh, there is a tiny little bounce though, especially here in the heel. When you're running down the court, you can definitely feel it. 
Uh, it's a it's a nice soft subtle bounce. It, I would say it's a more responsive cushion though, and uh, not a whole lot of compression. It's not like super soft or anything, but I would definitely say it's better than like a fine line. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you definitely get a lot more than that, but don't expect something crazy from this full length fuel cell. Like I said, it's more just like a responsive cushion with a little bit of bounce and a good cord feel. All right, moving on to the material. So they're calling this a kinetic stitch upper. And uh, it's basically like a, a mesh material or a textile material that has stitching pretty much throughout this entire upper, which of course improves the durability and also makes it more supportive, right? So here in the toe box, the material is actually quite thin and it stays really, really thin throughout this entire shoe. And um, quality wise, it's not the best, especially like looking at the fuse and feeling it. It's not the best like quality fuse material. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't feel very nice, you know? Uh, but of course that's good for durability especially if you do toe drags but then like on foot it feels pretty damn nice you know it's a very thin material but very very supportive and it conforms to your foot very well it really needs no breaking in either it's pretty much soft and ready to go out the box it gets actually even better once you break it in it gets even softer but it's not bad uh, when you first get it like i mentioned before it stays really really thin especially here in the middle of the shoe and then here in the ankle area we have a synthetic leather which doesn't feel too nice but yeah i guess it's a mid-tier price so uh, i feel like they should have used better quality materials but you know it doesn't really affect performance and then here for the tongue we have an extremely extremely thin tongue there's absolutely no padding i guess one good thing about it though is that it's a half booty construction tongue so it connects to this mesh material that goes underneath this kinetic stitch upper which gives you a better overall one-to-one -one fit uh here in the ankle area we have very very minimal padding again we have achilles pillows on the left and right side of the shoe they don't really do anything i mean they don't it, it's it doesn't have a lot of padding i feel like it improves the lockdown in the heel just a tiny bit but you don't really feel it on your on your ankle all too much i, I wish they made it a little bit like thicker you know uh, but the overall material on foot it feels great very minimal very lightweight uh conforms to your foot it's pretty damn comfortable it gets soft but just don't expect like a cozy feeling and don't expect a premium feel from this material all right, moving on to the fit of the shoe. The, the shoe runs pretty damn long, so I would suggest going down half size, but it's also very, very narrow and also uh, a little tight in the toe box. I wouldn't say it's like super duper snug like the KD13s, but it's still quite snug. So just be careful going down half a size because if you do, it'll be even more snug in the toe box and even narrower, obviously, right? So I feel like for me, uh, going true to size was pretty good because especially here in the toe box if you guys can see here uh, where the foam is in, in the forefoot this was squeezing my foot and it was just my right shoe but it was squeezing and it was a little uncomfortable and i hurt the side of my foot for for like a couple of days until i broke it in so just be careful on that and also be careful on going down half a size it's a weird fitting shoe for me also this shoe is uh, i would say just normal for putting off you know it is a I, I guess like a kind of a high top slash mid top shoe so it's not the easiest but the tongue does open up a lot and you have a little bit of a heel tab so that does help uh, as far as the support and lockdown goes it's actually very very nice you know here for lateral containment your foot is not going anywhere uh, so here in the forefoot like i mentioned before we have the fuel cell foam coming up acting as a sidewall and then here in the heel as well and you have an internal tpu heel counter so your foot is not coming out of the footbed at all i had no issues with lateral containment and then as for lateral stability, lateral stability was good. You know, as you guys can see, there's really, there's no outrigger, but the outsole and midsole do protrude out a good amount and you have a nice low wide base. So I had no issues with lateral instability and also ankle support is really good. You know, uh, I actually, like w when I tighten the last two eyelets pretty tight, uh, it would give me good ankle movement restriction. So to be honest, for me, uh, I don't like to have that but if you like ankle support then this is a pretty good shoe to get i wouldn't say it restricted my my ankle movement like that much but i definitely felt a good amount of it so uh so there's that all right moving on to the ventilation ventilation is okay you know uh, the material like i mentioned is pretty thin so it doesn't retain heat that much but there's really no airflow right if you blow through the kinetic stitch upper there's no airflow the only airflow is through this mesh tongue and that's not a lot of surface area for heat to dissipate so the two-way is quite warm actually uh, so just watch out for that and as far as the aesthetics go i like it you know the overall design is pretty damn dope the overall aesthetic looks nice especially on foot 
Uh, I just really don't like this colorway all too much. Some of you said this is like a Wolverine colorway, which uh, now that I see it, I feel like it's kind of dope now that I realize it's a Wolverine colorway, but still, uh, I like the other colorways that are coming out. Those are pretty damn sick. So tell us what you guys think of these settings down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, I was surprised. You know, my first impressions, I wasn't very impressed with this shoe, uh, but after playing in it, it's actually a really, really nice shoe. So one thing that you're not gonna get from the shoe is quality, right? So like I mentioned, uh, the quality that they're using, like the suede material and this like synthetic leather here in the back and the fuse, it doesn't feel very nice, but obviously, that doesn't really matter to us. We're just looking for, I guess, a performance shoe. And this shoe performs very, very well. Traction is really good. I love the outsole curvature. Cushion is very nice and responsive. Just watch out for hard impacts. Materials are super nice as well, in my opinion, just on foot. It's thin, it's supportive, it conforms to your foot very well. It's also an overall very, very supportive shoe. Oh, I forgot to do the weight. <laughs> Let's check the weight of the shoe. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, it was around average, maybe a little bit lighter than that. Oh, so 12.24 ounces. So the average weight of my shoes is around 12 and a half ounces. So that's a little bit lighter than average. And yeah, I, this shoe feels, like I said, very minimal and lightweight on foot, especially the materials, like this upper feels very minimal. The, the shoe feels pretty bottom heavy though. Like as you guys can see, the rubber does take up a good amount of the midsole and I feel like it takes up a good amount of the weight as well. So it feels a little bottom heavy and a little bit bulky here in the heel area. Uh, but overall, it feels very, very nice. So who can play in this shoe? I feel like most types of players and most play styles will fit into this shoe. Like I said, it's lightweight and minimal enough for a guard uh, with good traction and good cushion, but also supportive enough for a bigger player. So, uh, so yeah, overall, I really like this shoe. Uh, there were a few things that I didn't like, you know, like uh, the overall fit was a little weird for me personally. And I feel like the impact protection could be a little bit better. But um, other than that, I mean, it's a great shoe. So yeah, that about wraps up this review of the New Balance 2-Way. Uh, I would 100% recommend getting it. It's a, it's a great performer. So again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.